and uh, this is the OSU Jugglers Club. And um, we are, if you're interested, uh, we get together at the Alexander Field House from 5 to 7 on Mondays and 6 to 8 on Thursdays. And you don't have to know how to jungle, but we can teach you. And so in order to promote the club, we've contacted the resident directors and the RAs and put something together for you to do a small show and demonstration to show you what we are capable of doing, some of what we are capable of doing. And, um, and try to entertain you a little bit. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I will introduce our MC, Dave Sally. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a brief overview of kind of the skills that we have uh, available to learn from in our group. And there's actually a rating system, it's a belt rating system for juggling. Uh, the nice thing about it, it kind of follows martial arts. There's White belts, red belts, blue belts, and black belts. And it turns out that this rating system includes absolutely every single person on the planet. Everyone is either a white belt, a red belt, a blue belt, or a black belt. Reason being is, a white belt at juggling is someone that can do this. <laughs> Everyone should be able to do that without too much problems. Now, in order to become a red belt at beanbag juggling, you need to be able to, as uh, Chris Lee will demonstrate, another, uh, another white belt trick. Now, in order to become a red belt at beanbag juggling, you must be able to successfully do three throws and three catches. One, two, three, two, three. Very good. Now we have a red belt juggler. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Now, in order to move beyond that red belt stage into a blue belt juggler, you must learn relatively basic tricks such as under the leg. Ooh. <laughs> Pulled up a different trick on that. No, you did. All right. And another example of a blue belt trick would be over the top of the pattern, also known as juggler's tennis. But of course, we're not usually happy just staying as a blue belt. Nice hat job. We uh, like to move on to where we can become a black belt at beanbag juggling. Now, in order to become a black belt, we must learn two very distinctive tricks. The first trick is known as Mill's Mess. Mill's Mess involves three different throws. A throw over the top of the pattern, a throw to the ground, and a throw that carries through the pattern all at the same time. Now, we're going to try a little more complicated without the ground throw. Very good. This is Mill's Mess. Probably slow, but Mill's Mess nonetheless. The other, very nice, the other black belt trick is, of course, to take and put all three beanbags into one hand. White belt jugglers do it like this. Three in one hand. Black belt jugglers do much more. They actually do three in one hand. With a multiplex collision. Very nice. Oh, nice. nice. Everyone knows? Yeah. Bring it all, you got one more? Oh. Oh, uh, now you're showing off. <laughs> Dude, I've only got 60 minutes of tape. <laughs> so, we also don't just stop there with beanbags. We also move on to something called contact juggling. If you've ever seen the movie Labyrinth, and most of you are probably too young at this point to have seen it. <laughs> uh, sorry. There is a uh, maneuver that is done with a single ball. Now, the white belt variety of contact juggling is taking this single ball and telling the future. Yes, the future can be told. What is this... my wife going to look like? Uh, hmm. Apparently rather distorted. Hmm. So, <laughs> But that is a white belt trick that anyone can do. Now, we move on, of course, to the red belt trick. Now, the red belt would mean being able to pass the ball back and forth onto the single hand. As Ed will be demonstrating, perhaps you recognize Ed from the newspaper. Amen. <laughs> it's on the table. But we'll get to that later. So, this is a red belt maneuver with contact juggling. Of course, we always want to go beyond the red belt. We want to move on to the blue belt. Now, the blue belt with contact juggling means being able to transfer it between two hands and back and forth. There's also another maneuver to all. What do you got? Oh, front to back, reversing it. Very nice. That's making this look incredibly smooth. 
Very, very good. And that's known as a circle. Very nice. Now, there is, of course, a black belt maneuver with contact juggling. Ed is going to attempt to perform this black belt trick. You will notice that we have now changed to the special black belt contact ball. There is a very good reason why we are switching to the squishy one, which you will find out in just one moment as Ed attempts the black belt contact trick. Is that going to fill up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, so close. Very close. Very I can edit that. Oh. Cigar boxes. Now, the white belt maneuver with it, there's actually two white belt tricks to do with cigar boxes. The first is. Stone Oh, wait, historically accurate representation. There, now it's Stone Hand. Uh, the second and also easily done white belt trick. There we go. Tricks are not that impressive. 
To become a red belt with the Chinese yo-yo, you must be able to get it spinning. You can spin it on the ground and lift it in the air, and you can pretend you're playing the drums. And it spins. You can also toss it in the air a little bit and catch it. This is all just red belt tricks. But of course, we want to become a blue belt. Now, a blue belt means that you must accelerate the Chinese yo-yo in different methods. This is method number one. Method number two is the angry Chinese yo-yo game. <laughs> And you can actually channel that anger into something useful like stream time. Mm -hmm. Is appropriate. <laughs> we shall angry Stream time. Stream time. <laughs> and uh, of course, other things you can do. You can, of course, do under the leg. This is a natural blue belt trick. There are blue belt stream tricks like Cat's Cradle, which Oh, what a save. I'm sorry I got to the white belt portion a little early. Alright, let's try that one. And we have Cat's Cradle, which is just a string trick like so. And, what else do we have? We have Black Belt. A Black Belt trick with the Chinese yo-yo is naturally something known as a whip catch. This means launching the Chinese yo-yo into the air, putting both sticks into one hand, Whipping at it and catching it on the string. Something a little bit like this. <gasps> no! If you wish to see this again, the video will be available later. <laughs> We want to move on to red belt. 
belt. Now, red belt with clubs is very simple, as most red belts are. It means one, two, three throws, three catches. That's all it takes. Very simple. Making it work easy as it is. So, now we move on to the blue belt tricks. Blue belt tricks, you might have noticed, are under the leg. Yes, very nice. Over the top. Oh! oh. Oh, very nice. How about a floater? That's where you have no spin whatsoever. Very nice, very nice. And now we shall move on to the black bell trick of clubs. Ready for it? That would be what's known as Mills Mess with Clubs. Very, very difficult. That's good, you might stop there while you're ahead. <laughs> very nice. Now, clubs are awfully nice because they are a uh, rather a social activity as well. You don't have to just be a solo individual with clubs. You actually get to pass clubs. Now, there they are with passing, of course, white belt, red belt, blue belt, and black belt tricks. The white belt trick with passing is very simple. You go and say, good game. <laughs> now, this one is reproducible quite often. <laughs> Sometimes you can throw extra little flourishes in there. <laughs> Yes, as demonstrated. 
Now in this one, since I'm actually not crossing the ring, we can also show one of the other white belt tricks, which would be the ring toss, where you throw one quite high and make it try and land on a person's head. Good boy. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah! would be just throwing every other. Every other with rings is toss to the partner. Toss to the ground. <laughs> Try that one. So we have pass out, pass to self, pass out, pass to self. As you can see, it's a little That's more chaotic with rings than it is with clubs. <laughs> I want every on one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. want to do every's now? Yes, we're moving to every. All right, we're moving now. We're moving to the black belt. Okay, ready? With rings. Which would be every throw. Pass it out. So close. Try it. We can qualify this. One yes. more time. Seven doesn't even 
even fit on the scale of one to ten. But seven is something. Oh! 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 oh my god. Oh! Uh, of course, eight. Uh, eight is very simple. All you have to do is learn how to do four in one hand and learn how to do four in the other hand. <laughs> So now I think we're going to pass the hat so you can put money in it. <laughs> <laughs> 